don't know why. You guys remember, I used to always do that every time I turned the camera on. So say I just turn the camera on right now, and I go. <laughs> right? It's kind of funny talking to a thing like this. But I don't picture it like this. I picture it you. Like I'll picture, let's say, a man named Bill Blowers. I, I don't know where that name came from. It's just popped into my head. Bill Blowers kind of sounds like a cool guy. Like a real cool guy. Bill Blowers. If you're out there somewhere, buddy, and you subscribe to this channel, I don't even know if that's a name. I'm just thinking maybe there's a guy out there named Bill Blowers. Along with Ridge Runner. There's another neat name, Ridge Runner. What about Hector Gonzalez? Yo, Hector Gonzalez, okay? Listen, Hector, you've been around this planet a long time. Now, I'm thinking... Uh, Hector, that uh, I don't know you, I've never met you, I've never seen you, heard of you, I don't uh, know where you're from, but with a name like Hector Gonzalez, come on people, Hector Gonzalez, that man's got passion, you can tell, Hector, I'm going to take a shot in the dark for you on this one, um, Hector, the name Hector alone is uh, is a, an older name. It is older, like, uh, let's say, Charles. Hector, you are 57 years old, aren't you? I'm taking a wild guess because I'm a crazy man. Um, tell me how old you are in the comment section, Hector Gonzalez. Okay, Hector? I'm guessing 57. You could be 18 for, I don't know. Huckman707, buddy, welcome to the channel. I'm starting this video shouting out subscribers because YouTube failed to line up my subscriber thing on the thing here for like three months. Yeah, I've been trying to shout out new subscribers. Three months has gone by. They haven't updated my freaking subscriber thing. This thing, friends. You know what I mean? The list of subscribers on your channel. So we got Ridge Runner and we got a man named Josh A. Josh, welcome to the channel. Let's look for a couple more. David Foss. David, welcome, buddy. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. But I like Hector Gonzalez. I think that's a wicked name. Hector, are you 57? Wouldn't that be funky if you were? I'm taking a guess. Do I win an axe? Hey, Blake Collins. How are you, buddy? Thanks for subscribing. Lamar Bojons. Thanks, Lamar. Good to see you here. Arrow Slinger 04, Anthony Randa, F Woodworker, Ted Barnhart. 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 I like it. Teddy, thanks for popping in. Gerald Kasparik. And then, hey, there was another, uh, I saw a couple more. Excuse me, friends, just hang on. I'm trying to keep this video. Uh, Stuart Black, welcome. Anon. Anon. Like it. Uh, John, just straight up John. John, hi John. Subscribing to Buck and Billy Ray's channel. John, hi John. Todd Bauer, Bill Miller, Billy Miller. I like it. Steve Martinez. See, there's another fella, Stevie Martinez. Love it. Quimby, Richard Quimby, guy server. Jason Gabriel and Cow Matt. I love it. Not Cow Patty, Cow Matt. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Fallen the Beast. Uh, there's a couple more I want to shout out. Oh, there's Isabella Rosiella. Rosiella. Isabella, thanks for subscribing to the channel. I'm shouting you out. I love shouting the women out that come to the channel. Because it's manly content. And when women come in, I love it. Welcome, Isabella. Pop into the comment section. Isabella, are you... 24? Friends, thanks a lot. Enjoy the video. Just wanted to shout a few subscribers out. I love you all. Let's save the freaking world with some love. Okay? Yeah. Over and out.
All right. Okay, friends, we've pretty much looked after around the house there. I, I had a, a GoPro 4 that was doing this thing where it would say um, fixing file or repairing file or something, and then it would go for, it would, the video would go for eight or nine minutes, and then it would shut off, stop, dead square. It's, it's been doing that a bit. I think I need to maybe... I don't know, stop using it or <laughs> I don't know much about that stuff. Maybe upgrade or something or whatever you call it, update. I don't know. But anyway, we're down in the in the in the in the weird stuff now. Uh alder. Dead hardwood. Thanks, boy. You know, and, and we got this structure and we got like uh just not not real not good. It it it's there's a hydro line right here, so um yeah. It'll be interesting. We're gonna get rid of a couple of these big live ones. They're fine with it's going up that away. Cause these are leaning and they're dead. And you can see behind us here, there's a couple of more ones really bad. So we're looking at, and then maybe take one maple out to create space for these, these, these horrible snags that are just gonna do their thing as they go. So. We're just hooking into this now, so. What are you gonna rig that to? That uh, this down? this here. I was thinking about putting a, a butt rig because it's got a, a crazy yeah. Watusi in it, bud. Yeah. Just from here to that maple over there. So just do a running bowling up high, and then we'll go around and do a few wraps, nice and tight on that maple. Okay, buddy. Yeah. Thanks. And I'll start with uh, this alder. I'm just gonna ship this alder up in up in here. It's tall. It's taller than I thought, so I want to do a high stump a bit. This is the this is the iron horse big boar. The saw usually fires up pretty good. I wanted that to hang on the stump. I didn't want to bore it and let it pop. I like to steer my wood. You can't steer your wood with a bore and a pop. You can't do it. If you're gonna freak out, put a back cut in and freak out that as soon as it moves and it's gonna blow up in your face, well then you shouldn't be doing this. You should be doing something else. <laughs> Here's the stump. There it is. And yes, it probably did, probably did pull a little bit. No, it didn't there. It didn't barber chair at all. Not there, it didn't anyway. That looks great, Sonny. Did it pull here? No, it didn't at all. Not at all, look. No, no breaking whatsoever. It's, a, it's, it's good. It's all good. And I wanted it close to that maple because there's structures up there, friends. And I'll show you how close it went, really close. Iron horse, this is a great saw. 
So we got a butt rig right here to back there because of that shed. And the reason we've done that is because if you look, the thing's a Watusi, a complete Watusi. I'm actually thinking about um, shooting it kind of hard to the left um, to see if it'll, well, it's going to go straight into its lay. It's too rotten to play around with it. It's not going to be able to, we're not going to be able to play with it, but I'm going to get in here and get an undercut in it.
Here comes another dead one. that busted back and forth. Look at that alder. Look at it. It's whipping. I should almost grab that when it's flicking back. Take it when it's going back and get rid of it out the back here on the swing. See that? Watch. So did you see what I did there, friends? Did you see that? I got it on its swing. You saw that one, right, friends? As it, as it was swinging back and forth, I utilized its swing into the back 40 to get rid of it. It was a snag, it had to go. But that was a bonus. I thought that would have broke off, but it didn't. So this is a problem here now. This thing's like bark off. Look at it, bark. Yeah, I think you're right. So that's why we can't play with it. There's BC Hydro. It's like it's, it comes in. It's not. It's not high voltage, but it's the. It's their service line. There's a transformer halfway up the driveway, and then the, their their electrical box is right there. Okay. So unfortunately, there's not. I mean, I would be risking a huge chance if I was to try and save this little maple tree. They've got so many maples and so many alders here that it it. it no. No, it's just not. Plus, it's got epicormic suckers. It could be struggling. We've got a lot of trees dying in here, friends. So we're just not going to take that chance. We're going to get rid of that maple because this thing needs a free path. It needs a free path. I mean, Will it go by is the question. Can you come down and grab that wedge pouch, please? Yeah. Let me get up there and have a look at this thing.
good. So if you had to just tick, maple too. hey, save that little maple. yeah, I saved out that little maple. Yeah. So if if that would have been a kind of tree, friends, if if you just just cut a little bit at the back, maybe a little bit more, and looked away, or looked out into your lay instead of up, it probably would have blew up in your face. Well, not probably. It would have. It would have. As soon as I hit the back and know, knew that I was lined up with my undercut, or pardon me, my back cut, that was it. I'm in. I look up. I watch what the crown's doing. I know it's only going one way. Right, friends? I know it's only going one way. So get your back cut set. Get into the wood so your saw's going to pull in evenly and freaking look up because it's laying hard. You need to know what the crown's doing. Never mind your curve for out, out there. You've already put your undercut in, so look up. It tells you what to do. Start taking right off. Keep cutting. Cut it up. Send it in there. We got exactly where we wanted. We, we didn't, you see, so we saved the little maple out and everything, which is kind of nice. So now we got this thing, and my my fear was, son, I'll get you to move that camera. Yeah, I gotta the wedges. Oh, awesome. Thanks, buddy. Oh, we, did, we left him there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the and... Come out nice, eh? Uh, yeah. We got yeah, one coming coming straight across yes, the absolutely. That was kind of prep for this bad stuff. Yeah. Like we've we salvaged that little guy I just saved out. I wanted to cut it down. I thought, no, I can get that maple by. So really, we've lost one alder, uh, a live tree. I'm talking live trees. Yeah. A couple, two, three live trees. That's it. That's it. So it's not bad. And the alders are old anyway. So yes, they are. So they're probably on their way. But there was a maple I wish I could have saved, but no way. So now this thing's got a, a, a path for it. This is the worst tree on the claim right here. Yeah, we, we were looking at that one. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, look at it, friends. It, it just, it's, it's bad. It's really bad. And what these can do, as soon as you put a cut in, they can actually just basically crumble because they're that bad. So yeah. It shattered basically. Yeah, they will. Like when it came down, I saw bits of it all over here, but I couldn't see none of it down there because it was just just brittle, eh? Good. So now what we've created is is a path for this thing, and it's bad, friends. Like I mean, it, it is. It, it. I don't know if you can see up there, but I'll look up for you. It. It is ugly. It's bark exfoliating. It's got like a. A Watusi off the back side, it's a loop in it. It's going straight up the claim here. Just boom, straight up, right by that balsam. It's awesome. Eh? Freaking that thing's deadly. Yeah, that thing's deadly. I like it. Okay, you're on. Okay, let's do this. Sonny, keep your head up. Just maybe, maybe pop that thing right in here, buddy. Okay. Right behind me. Yeah, right, right up close to me, right here like that. There you go. And then I'll just scurry off here and keep my head up. Cause I'm just gonna tickle this thing. It's got enough weight where it'll, it'll, I'll be able to play with the stump here, I think, and, and slowly creep it over. Friends, don't ever bore anything like this. It, it makes no sense. You, you bore something like this and you pop the back of it. What it's gonna do, friends, this thing is in rough, rough shape. This is not a bore cut tree. It's not. You bore this thing and you, you get the guts out of it and leave a little piece of hinge wood and you pop that strap, the thing's gonna go, Koo! and it's gonna, it could definitely could, the top could snap back. Look at the freaking thing, friends. So I'm just coming straight in the back, okay, friends? That's what I'm doing.
I'll just get a little drink of fuel and we'll buck the road off for you. <laughs> it feels safer already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, they're not much there to buck, is there, bud? No, we just get it off the road. Just give me a little quick drink of that, please. Oh, I don't need borrow. I probably do, but I'm not gonna have it. Good. That's all you need? Yep. It went, it went quite well. It's uh, it's a shame, the balsam, you know. They're... Now, who's this young lady with the Canadian flags? Would you do me a big favor, please? Okay, good. I was feeling a little bit, little down today when I started work and then I saw your Canadian flags and it reminded me of the lovely day I had yesterday with my wife. We went to Victoria to, to to go see the lights and I thought maybe you could tell uh, tell our friends here on YouTube what what you got on your head there. What What is that? <laughs> What's she got there, friends? Is that a, that's a Canadian flag, Canada. I say Canada. Canada! <laughs> <laughs> Canada! Yeah. What do you say? Canada. Canada? Canada. I can made you say Canada. <laughs> <laughs> okay, friends. We're gonna get back to work. What's your name again? Astrid. Astrid. How cool are the names these days, friends? Remember, remember the other day it was, who was it, Boyd, up at the, remember? Otis. Otis, yeah, Otis and, and, and Ewan or something. Ewan, yeah. yeah, and then her little sister is Persephone, which is, <laughs> is um, the boat. Nicodonatus' boat from Beachcombers. Check it out. Awesome show. Canadian show in Gibson's. It's wicked. And it was Persephone. A little before my time. Little before Hogan's time. What was that happening there? <laughs> what just happened? Are you trying to poke me in the eye? <laughs> you believe these kids these days? I can't believe you. Okay, say goodbye Bye. to the loaded dog. Bye. All right. See you, loaded. Saved out that little maple too. Yeah.